Hey everybody, what is up? This is Devin Lavore and the lovely, gorgeous, beautiful Michelle Lavore coming I'm at you. <laughs> and so, what is God cooking up right now? What's God cooking up in your life? What's God cooking up in our life? Well, ever since we've been in this new place, God has been talking to us a lot about dreams mm -hmm. and dreaming and reawakening the dream and writing down the dream. We kind of touched on it in our last video. Yeah right but um i think that night was it the 24th yeah mm -hmm. the night of the 24th i was i was asking the lord i was like all right lord you've been talking about the dreaming thing ever since we've been here i'm like so what what is it what is it that you really want to say about it you know i'm i'm really interested to know you know and as i'm uh, michelle had already gone to bed everyone had already gone to bed obviously but uh finally uh isaiah decided to go to bed at 12:30 yay we that's, were excited yeah that's early <laughs> that's, that's really early for him considering he didn't go down yesterday last night till two yeah and basically we stayed up for an hour talking <laughs> about life stuff because that's just this is how we roll okay <laughs> and so but the other night i was like lord what what are you what are you saying what's going on and literally like I, cause I check my email all the time and there's still some emails I need to get to. I'm going to get to those today, but, but, um, like after I, uh, said this, I mean, within minutes of me asking this and praying this, I get a email from a friend of ours. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and it's a, it's a video that linked this, uh, apostle John Eckerd video mm -hmm. about declarations and all yeah. that stuff. And it really jumped out at me. Yeah. I was like, Oh wow. Okay, so this is jumping out at me, just like the prophetic numbers do. They, it just jumped out at me, and I was just like, because anytime anything jumps out at you, that's the Holy Spirit highlighting it. Mm -hmm. You know, like he said, like John Eckhart said something in the video that really struck you as well about like he gets a lot of prophetic words. He oh, hears yeah. and listens to a lot of prophetic words. Yeah, and how but, he just kind of will like some of them. He's like, okay, that was a good word it was definitely but, but from the lord it, it seemed like it was from like, the lord but okay but it's not his it's not really it's not hitting him hitting him and right. then sometimes he's like but then other words um he's just like oh my gosh this is for me mm -hmm. and and that's really when you you're talking about the prophetic words is mm -hmm. just that sometimes they're going to be right on and you're just like this so applies to me but then other times you might be like well that's really good but it just isn't for you in that season of life and it could be from a prophetic voice that you really appreciate yeah a lot of us are she says to, like 70 percent of the stuff she says i'm like yeah but then there's other things that she's saying I'm like we can just both tell like that's not really for us is it yeah it's like when you really love and admire or someone you want yeah. everything they say yeah. from the lord to be for you but it's just not that way yeah so when things are highlighted to you that's the holy spirit doing what he wants to do how he wants to do it right yeah and so that night that that word was sent to me and then i got on my youtube subscriptions because i subscribed to like over a hundred different <laughs> youtube channels and i got on there and elsa b yeah. uh came out with the word about awakening creative gifts god's mm -hmm. awakening creative gifts and then nate johnston uh came out with two videos about birthing your promise and healing past trauma that was one video and then your words create your reality or something like that all of this was like yeah. boom 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 <laughs> and god was like so does that answer your question yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. it was like i mean it was all just coming you know and it's like wow you want to yeah you well touch so on then that? i guess last well last night we were able to finally get to listen to yeah. some of it we actually didn't well we listened to john eckhart's video yeah. and then elsa b's video yeah and, it and was then we just, prayed and talked and i was yeah. like that was enough we it weren't gonna really be was. <laughs> <laughs> but we're we'll hoping to, the to do ones. the other ones today but yeah. <laughs> it was just it was just really awesome because it, it was very much where where we were and um i could just feel this like again an excitement building for just what god is doing and that was something yesterday um that i feel like i got some breakthrough in because in the morning we were talking and and you were just talking about how you know god really wants you to have um the dreams and the desires to really be solid like you know the the oh, putting the wiring yeah. like making it 
Do you um, want me to share that? Yeah, why don't you okay, share Okay, well, that? I was just having a, um, I'll do this real quick. So I'm sit back and relax. No, let, let me go get the popcorn. If you have to advertise, it's, <laughs> it's going to be the opposite of what you're advertising. But, you know, a lot of times I've gone back and forth on like, well, if what, if God wants me to do the creative stuff, I mean, whatever. If you, I'm just, whatever. That kind of religious, fake, piety type stuff. And it's really just expressing a lack of confidence. And God was like, man, Devin, you need to, uh, you need to, uh, tighten up those loose connections and he showed me this vision of these wires that you know like a, a lot of wires have a coating around it to keep the wires in the coating was stripped off and the wires were just kind of frayed out like this and and he was like you need to tighten those things together wrap them up basically you need to you need to tighten up your confidence that i have called you to do this yeah and then you need to wrap them up in faith that it's actually going to work yeah you know it's going to you are going to produce you are going to but well, you know, faith-filled Devin. But Lord, I've already done a lot and, you know, produced a lot and nothing's happened from it. And, da, 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 da. and it's like that. You can't look by faith or by sight. You have to walk by faith. And so that's what he was meaning by yeah. you gotta You got to know that God's called you to do what God's called you to do. And don't be like, well, maybe he has, maybe he hasn't. I don't know. Yeah. That's that's a loose connection. If you have, a, you have a tight connection, it's like you just know. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what my mind says. What I, the spirit says this, and I'm going to agree with that. Yeah. You know, that's... Yeah, and so that was... Um, <laughs> so you he basically shared that. And mm. then for me, once again, I'm just like, oh, okay. So <laughs> now that means... And I just, you know, a lot of times I think what can happen is you hear something and it... Triggers. S- triggers and spirals <laughs> <laughs> you down this road of like, oh, well, if that's what we're talking about now, then that means that it's not time for the promise to be filled. And that means we're going to have to keep waiting. And that means that, well, I guess we just have to start working and we have to do this. And God's, that's going to be the next thing God's going to do. He's going to ask us to work. You know, and. And so in my mind, all these things are just And it's the same old, same old, isn't it? Very similar to things said. that I've <laughs> gone through many times. And, um, but then you, like, you're, you know, he knows me. <laughs> and A you knew where, where I was at. And it was just like, don't go down there. Don't, don't start yeah. thinking you said don't have faulty wiring don't start making false faulty connections. connections that's what you said yeah and, and you're connecting this wire with this wire based on your own understanding yes. yeah um, basically i was saying don't go down that leaning on your own understanding yeah. path which you tend to do don't do yeah. it because it's a bad neighborhood yeah there's some gangsters there <laughs> yeah it's gonna mess you up <laughs> but it was <laughs> they're just... gonna shoot you <laughs> <laughs> but it was really good because i i really I was just like, oh, that's right. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm. T- I'm but it was like a revelation it, for it you, was, right? It was yeah. like, whoa, I am actually doing that. Yeah, and so I was just like, okay, I can't. And I just stopped. And it was like, wow, okay. So I put that aside and I just went on with my day. And it was just like, oh, this is awesome. Because I don't normally do that. I don't normally. It. it you would, went a new direction. I did. And, and the truth is, it's like. Bookmark that. We, I know, it's like, we really don't know what the Lord is going to do. God gives us signs. He gives us, you know, impressions, impressions of where we're going. And, he yeah. can even give you a vision for mm-hmm. what he has for you. But Dreams. You, you don't know every step mm-hmm. that it's, that's needed to get you to where you want to go. Yeah. And, and I think it's so important when you're following the Lord to follow the Lord. Yeah. You know, and not to, um, I think it's, it's too easy to be like, oh, so God tells you something. You're like, oh, so that we're going to do this and we're going to do it. And you start trying to run ahead of the Lord. And, and, and I think when you're walking with him, just like Jesus said, it's like, don't worry about tomorrow. Mm-hmm. There's enough worries for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, be concerned with today. And um, and so that's really what I was doing yesterday. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, I just I want to be about what you have for me today. Mm-hmm. Because the the problem with the going down that path of like, well, you know, making the faulty connections, 
is one, you have no idea what the future holds. Two, it really steals from the now. It steals from it what God is currently doing because you're focused on the, well, really kind of like the, what you think might happen, you know? And, and it's like, you're going to miss or out. Or the way you think it has to happen and this has yeah. to happen first and, and then that has to go here. And for those that and... might not know, I'm a very concrete thinker. Wow. <laughs> I'm talking grade A mixture i'm saying man so for me nice really, and perfectly paved yeah. and smooth and no no uh, what is it called uh when a diamond has uh like errors in it but what's it called oh gosh i don't know frail not frailty flaws, flaws. that's what it is Flaw, yeah dur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you want. You don't want any flaws in no. the in the steps. No, no mess ups. No, everything's yeah. got to be perfect. Yeah. So I really do. I just I like. I it's like I I can start to see things in just one particular way. It's like, well, it has to be this way. Yeah. It has to like. Well, if God's saying this, then it has to be this. And well, yeah, God, this has to happen first, and, and I, you have to do that. And yeah. You have to do that. And it's it's like, like I know the steps. I've seen the steps. Like, and that's you know, how we met, right? According to all the normal it, steps. It that's was totally I how it happened. Had it all planned out. Nope. <laughs> you did not meet me at church. I it didn't. did not take a year of us yeah, being we friends we first. Friends, and and we then were we friends did, in one day. Yeah, and like, literally, and we didn't date and then have a long engagement. And no, nope. yeah, it was nine days later. You asked me to marry you. <laughs> I'm just saying, take your plan and throw it out the water and trust in the Lord because he knows the desire of your heart. He knows what needs to happen and he knows how quickly you want it. Yeah. He knows all of it, you know? But so I think it was just, it's just so important to <laughs> to really allow God to unfold things. That's been something mm -hmm. he's said to me since last year, really probably a year ago. It was probably in May, April, May time. And God was just like, allow me to unfold, allow me to let, you know, have this thing come forth. And, um, and that's kind of where we're getting the, what is God cooking? Because mm -hmm. it's, it really is like on the 22nd, there was a definite finality there was. to that season that God had and all that we went through for those five months and a few days. And mm -hmm. it was like, God was very clear. I mean, it was that. It's like the season, it literally the season changed. It was yeah. just like, it was like the last little bits of, uh, the last little bits of uh, winter have gone. Yeah. And it's like the spring is here and the, but, the and doves that's, are I think singing he's and like, the flowers are blooming. And it's yeah, like and that. it's like, this is the real, this is really happening. Yeah. You know? And, and so, and this week has been so different. I mean, just everything about it. And I really feel like God's mm -hmm. kind of been leading us through just like, okay, what it is that he's having us focus on now. And it really has been the dream. Mm -hmm. And and that's what he's cooking up. Yeah. And so that's yeah. really kind of what he's stirring up. He's, mm -hmm. he's like, all right, I want you to just know that that is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm bringing out. Um, all these passions and desires that you have. Which I'm, Lana Vosser prophesied. Yeah. She was like, here it is. It's rediscovery time. Let's get, mm -hmm. and we didn't have to wait like two months for us. Oh, now it's happening. What yeah. she prophesied. No, it happened like within like within that week. Yeah. I've like, just within like, days of her prophesying, it started for us. Yeah. You know? Of like, okay, like this is what God's looking at. And it's been really fun. It has. It's, it's been fun to be like, oh yeah, I remember all these dreams. And it's like, we already have them in us, but mm -hmm. to like bring them back out, bring them to the forefront of like, this is what he's working on. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how we were thinking about it. It's like, God's been working on this certain part of the meal and it's like, okay, that's done. Now I'm gonna go Ooh. do this part over here. Can I can I talk about that? Mm -hmm. That's that's the numbers thing. So because let me tell you something, there haven't been any. I yeah. mean, there's been like, there literally hasn't been Not any. For us, yeah. <laughs> for Joah, he when he he notices the 144 because that's just a thing for him. But it's like there just hasn't been any. There has been one, but I'll get to that in a minute. But it's like. Why, why all of a sudden are there just no numbers? Yeah. And the numbers thing is not happening in this new place that we're in. Why is that? Well, because God cooked that up. Yeah. I mean, it started back, I don't know, when we were in the Quality Inn, right? There's three hotels we went to. Quality Inn, Sleep Inn, and then the Comfort Inn, right? 
and it started with the quality in and I was kept seeing those triple digits like crazy yeah and the Lord was highlighting them they, they were jumping out like we already mentioned yeah. and it was like okay wow what's going on it's like we haven't seen the numbers thing in a long time why because God pulled out his pot he pulled out his little frying pan and he started cooking something up uh -huh. you know <laughs> he's like oh I gotta I gotta prepare this right now because I want to show you guys something I want to do something here yeah you know because a chef doesn't cook the same meal all the time he yeah. cooks up different things and that's what God does he cooks up different things and so he was cooking up this thing and he was using a lot of numbers to spice this thing mm -hmm. up right and he was talking about and so we did that video about a visitation of the Lord I guess I did it your hand was in it yeah but <laughs> we started there and then we went to the sleep in hotel and we, we kept getting sign 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 and then God was using the numbers mm -hmm. to confirm that and say see i'm telling you guys you, you speak this language come on i'm telling it to you yeah and i was getting the two two twos right so then we go to the comfort inn we're on floor two we're in room 222 we stay there for two weeks we leave on the 22nd yeah okay you, you don't make that stuff up no that just happened i mean and we knew that yeah. things were coming to an end well and it I was, was like something's coming in to an end we we need to like stay one more night but then after that we're gonna yeah. go well and and it was a literal like okay they have no space even if nope. we wanted to stay we, we couldn't, couldn't. <laughs> but see god already knew that and he prepared our hearts yeah. like psalm 10 i believe it is 10 17 and 18 talks about the lord will strengthen direct and prepare their hearts yeah and he knew i just knew i was like oh yep the, the cloud is lifting now because it was it was just yeah. staying for a while i was like i think that's really the longest hotel stay we've ever had yeah it was two it weeks was. Yeah. And I was like, two's all over the place. And it was crazy. And then the 22nd happened. And then the night of the 22nd was almost like a celebration. Like It, really it was, was like a, the like, holy... Yeah, go ahead. Like Joe said, it was a holy night. Yeah. It was just like, you made it. He put like, the capstone on that whole ordeal. And that was him saying, okay, this is done. I'm going to take that off. Now I'm getting a new pot. Yeah. I'm getting a new skillet. And I'm going to start, ooh, let's put some dreams. Let's, let's make a dream souffle. Or I don't know. You don't use a skillet to make a souffle. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like some guy's doing something new right mm -hmm. now. And it's just like, okay, what are you doing? And it's like, so tomorrow we're going to go check out this church that's like literally three minutes down the yeah. road. We were going to walk there, you know? Yeah, which is a really big deal for us. We've, um, I mean, basically last May. And this is just what you're getting ready to say. This is just one of the blossoms of that represent wow god you are doing something yeah. very new yeah you know so last year may of 2017 um we just there was just this kind of like a sudden like wow we're not going to be going to the church that we were going to anymore and and we just really felt like god was just like all right you're done and it was may 7th we went there on May 7th, but then come May 14th, I woke like, up and I was like, God, I cannot do it anymore. I just can't. Yeah. I can't pack up my family and go through all of this to go and just sit in a place where we have zero connection with anybody. No one even wants to connect with us. There, it, It's just not happening. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and the, it, the, the experience is really mediocre to begin with. Yeah. And I'm just like, I can't do it. And the Lord just was like, okay, I'm going to do something new then. I'm, I'm going to take you on this journey. Yeah. And we, have, we haven't been. Yeah, we haven't been um, to a church for basically a little over a year. Um, and, and through it all, we keep asking. We kept, we've asked God multiple times, like, is it, should we be trying to find a church? What should we be doing? Many times. And, and it's always been just like God's not had us there. Well, and then after Isaiah was born, we logistically could not go. Could not go. Yeah. Because we, we only had a five-seater, that Camry. Yeah. yeah. And after and that, I was like, okay, we really actually can't go yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Even if we just can't. Yeah. And so um, just where we're at right now, we just, it's been something that God started. He's like, just recently mm -hmm. of like, okay, maybe it's time to go ahead and try and go back to a church. And, yeah. and so. Because there's good churches out there. Yeah. And it's so, just God hasn't um, had us there. And it's yeah, like, what are we and doing? I do think though that it was, I don't know. I just feel like the, the year that we've had, where we haven't been quote in the church building or at a church, has really been so good for us. It's it's like, you know, there's times in your life when you have to step away from a situation, 
and you grow and develop and you come back into it mm -hmm. a completely different person. Whether the situation's changed or not, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. And so I just kind of feel like that's what God's done. Like he's just he taken us out. Done that. Yeah. And the growth that we've had over the last year is just, I'm like, for me personally, I'm just like, I don't, n night and day. I mean, I just, it's like, I feel like a totally, totally different person than if you mm -hmm. look back to where I was last, last year in May. And it's like, wow, God, you've done so much. Yeah. And, um, but it's just so funny because as we've, you know, we talked about, okay, well, we can go to this church because it's really right down the road. That's really, we can walk there because <laughs> otherwise it would just be odd. We'd have to <laughs> Uber our way and have car seats just hanging out at a church somewhere. <laughs> That's not going to work. And so it just, it works out that it's right down the road. We can just walk there. So as we started talking about going back, it's just interesting how, like for me personally, kind of processing through and because there have been disappointments in going to churches because we really wanted to have connection and we literally spent the entire time we were in um, Kansas City trying to build connections. It was five years. And, five years. And it just never happened. And mm -hmm. so for me... There's one family that yeah. we were constantly connected with but, but they but came we, they came from where they came we had the been same, but we had already been friends with them for years yeah years yeah you know and so it was just like they uh, were the first family i met when i went to lawrenceburg when i yeah. moved to lawrenceburg they were the first family i met it was september 2002 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> known them since then and That's crazy. 16 years anyway um, sorry <laughs> so moving on so it's just like there's <laughs> there's just you can have like those heart wounds there mm -hmm. of just are just really wounds of like disappointment it's not like i was wounded by the church or something like that but there's definitely a history of just disappointment not well you can be wounded by a lack of church yeah you know because you're going to church and you're trying to connect and no one's wanting to connect mm -hmm. everyone is pretty content to their isolated life and it's just like that can wound you. Yeah. Because you're going there with an expectation of the church being the church, and it's just not. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, what is this? You're going to McDonald's, and you find it to be a homeless shelter. And it's like, well, where's the Big Macs? Where's the cheeseburgers? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, we don't we don't do that here. You know, yeah. it's like, what what what's the, what's the Golden Arches about? Yeah. You know, what I mean? it's like you sure do advertise that you're this thing, but then when I come to taste of your product. It's, it's not even there. Yeah. So, so that can wound you. Yeah. I don't care who, particularly when you're talking about church, because church has to do with life. Yeah. This has to do, it doesn't have to do with eating something or, or buying a product or something like that. It has to do with life, you know? And also, I think for me, there, are the, just there's like a, there was this heart hiccup. I guess because the last time when we were here last year in April for oh. the one week, I mean, we went literally probably went to like four or five, at least one, two, three, four, at least four churches in one week. In one week. <laughs> and trying to connect. And there was nothing. And like there, there was one that we were like, oh, this. There was potential, but then we went again. And you could tell. And it was just totally different. There was, was a so shutdown odd. of the Lord. It was almost like we triggered a mousetrap. It was like, boom, no, yeah. you're not coming here. Yeah. I was like, I thought we were going to come here. I, I almost, I felt like I heard from you that this was a landing place and all that stuff. Yeah. It seemed good. And it's just like, nope. Yeah. And so. For I, the moment, it was. It was for the moment. But it's like but when we came back to be like you know, have that kind of like, we're going to go to the pastor and talk to the pastor because we, we got some issues. And it was a complete shutdown. He did talk with us, though. Yeah. And it was actually a good conversation. But the Lord was just like, this is not this is not what you need. You don't need man's counsel. Yeah. You don't need man's wisdom. You don't. You need me. What am I saying? Talk mm -hmm. to me. What am I saying? And it was like... And that was really where we were at at the time, yeah. you know. And, and so it's like all this stuff was starting to bubble up. And for you when we were talking me, about going we to a, this about church going tomorrow. To a, a church. <laughs> and, and it really has just been something like over the last few days that God is just 
he's just working in my heart. And so last night when we were um, praying, I don't know, there was just an excitement. Excitement for, you know what? This is a new season. This is a new time. And that was a new direction and, for you. Yeah. To do that. You're doing, again, you're doing something different than what you normally do. You yeah. went a different way. And it was like, you know, it's been prophesied. It's that God is going to open new doors. And, and there, <laughs> and so it was just like, all right, you know, this can be new. I don't know what tomorrow will hold. I mean, we really don't. But I do believe that God has said he has connections for us here. People, and, and by connections, I mean just people that are going to be in our lives, that are going to yeah. be relationships that we have that are actual face-to-face -face relationships. There can, be a, there can be a one another relationship, yeah. a, a koinonia, a fellowship of the spirit. Yeah. You know, it's like we need that you know it's been it's good because we're going to keep doing this obviously yes you know and and have that fellowship that we have with you guys here online but there's something different about being in someone's life yeah and being there's so many times i'm telling you what guys there's so many times where we're like oh my gosh we, we just wish we were there yeah so we could talk with you and just like yeah. okay, so what's really going on let's yeah. pray about it let's see what yeah. the lord's but you can't do that online it's you really, really difficult. can't you know it's no different than you know, when, when we were meeting, because I was I'm just like, I'm a face-to-face -face person, and you are too. And so it's like, let's bypass all this back and forth talking on, like, correspondence, trying to correspondence yeah. thing. And I think that there is something that's really special when you can meet and actually, like... And it was, like, instant for us. Yeah. We were, like, instant friends. Yeah. And, um, and so, I don't know, I'm just going into tomorrow, like... After last night, just a completely different mindset of just like, you know what, I what what am I expecting? I'm expecting to see the Lord, you know, and I'm expecting that you know what if like God has has good in store for us. If it's at this church, then praise the Lord. If it's not, I'm not going to be crushed by it. Right. And and so it's like you know god is good and you know we are praying i am praying and declaring that there's going to be relationship that god is going to yeah. to bring about just um his word and his promises and and that includes people and mm -hmm. and having people in in our lives people and our, who can minister to us but we can also minister, minister to, to them, them and yeah yeah the normal way of relationships in the kingdom no yeah. one's higher than someone else all level everyone's level when it comes to jesus jesus yeah. is the higher that's it yeah. there's no one between jesus and you that's like going to help you no we're going to help each other on this thing called a playing field yeah you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah and i think it's different too because it's like you know it's like when we go anywhere it's like we're carrying the lord with us and i just think that's so awesome you know it's mm -hmm. like i'm not going to the church so that i can meet the lord there i'm going right. just because well one that's kind of where he has us at right now uh -huh. but it's like you're going and you already have the lord with you and i just i don't know i just think that's yeah just so awesome it's kind of cool because the, we carry the lord but it's also the lord who carries us yes it's like again it's that relationship god's heart is just relationship relationship yeah relationship. he died for the sake of relationship yeah you know, so it's like it's it's been cool. I almost feel like because I went to I went to YWAM in '98 and '99, like September to September. I, I did a discipleship training school. Then I did a school of evangelism. They've got bunches of different names for schools now. But it was like once that came to an end, there was like a there was a I, that same sense of finality that mm -hmm. we felt on the 22nd is what I felt back then. Mm -hmm. Like this is a completely new direction. You know, and then I ended up going on staff there, and then from staff I met a, a leader of a band, and I got on tour with the band. And guess what? That was a dream come true. That was a dream fulfilled. You know, and I almost feel like because a lot of us are prophesied this thing about a ten-year, ten-year something, something about the number ten, and it be a ten-year thing, and God's, you know, it's almost like He's coming full circle. And it was like in June of. In June of this year, it'll be 10 years yeah. since we've met. And I almost feel like the Lord's saying that. Like there's going to be a 10-year thing where it's like mm -hmm. you're going to come full circle and I'm going to fulfill another dream. Yeah. You know? 
And it's like, wow, that is awesome. Bring it. You yes. Know? Which also ties in, honestly, to the whole summer harvest thing yeah. he's been talking about. You want to talk about that? Yeah. Um, we'll overload him right now. Yeah. We'll just overload yeah. you. Yeah. So last night, it was also during just the time. It's something God's cooking up. We were, we were praying, and I was just praying, actually, over our kids. And... Again, you were I, praying over everybody. I was. I was. You were just praying, praying like praying. crazy. You know who was it that gave us that dream about, about you having the intercessor, intercessor. tag in uh-huh. a dream? That's totally what she was doing. Yeah. She was like, "You do you see my tag? It says intercessor. <laughs> I'm, I'm intercessing for everything." Yeah. But at that moment, I really was. I was just praying um, for our, our kids to just um, harvest because I really felt like you know we got the word that. Like, the bloom, the blossoming. I was just, you know, reminded again of just the natural process of um, vegetation, fruit, and specifically like almond trees. <laughs> vegetation, fruit. You know, <laughs> that, greenery. That, that stuff that grows <laughs> and produces things. It's like got stuff on it <laughs> that you can eat. <laughs> no, but. Specifically the almond tree, I looked this up last year about the process of, you know, an almond tree, it starts to blossom and then in the summer a lot of times is when the almonds are, they're they're, they're really growing and and then end of August, September, October is when you start to harvest um, the, the almonds and I just, as I was praying though, I just really was getting kind of the only word I could come up with was like an acceleration but I was like but it's almost like a skipping like to go from blossoming to harvest and that's kind of what I was getting as I was praying and I was and I was praying for um really our whole family but our kids to harvest all of the sewing that they've been doing you know and sewing just being being along on this journey the the tears that they've cried the just things they've what endured. they've walked through and just yeah. how they continue to press on and and continue to go on this journey with us and it was just like lord let them now reap the harvest of 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 all of that and um seems like joe has already started yeah he really has He kind of popped up and he was like hey hey can i be part of this prayer time right now uh-huh. and he just started praying again yeah. and it was just like wow this yeah is amazing totally different kinds of prayers than what he prays during during God time. Yeah. You know, I mean they're like I'm like, dang, you were really tapped into the spirit of God at eight years old? I never knew that was even possible. Yeah. Seriously, I never even knew that was possible. Yeah. And so that was just something like I had been praying and then later on we when we were talking, um mm-hmm you were saying that that's kind of what you were feeling yeah but i didn't want to tell you yeah i felt like the i felt like the lord was like i felt like the lord said summer harvest and then he gave me that scripture i was reminded of that scripture in proverbs it talks about a wise son harvest during summertime but then and then it has a contrast of like a lazy slave doesn't or something like that but it was just that harvest during summer because i was thinking you don't harvest in summer like because, you know, I get that word, summer harvest. I'm like, you don't, you don't harvest in summer. It's supposed to be the fall. And then I'm just like thinking, well, summer, that's like, dude, that's like June 21st or something. Like, that's a long time from now. And it's like, that's fine. I'm fine. I'm not going to mess with the timing, <laughs> obviously. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. But like, but the Lord was like, yeah, Devin, that's exactly how I work, right? I work according to the Gregorian calendar. Yep. That's how I, that's how I do it. And it's like, okay, sorry, repentance happening right now. And, uh, well, and then we were talking about, you know, this weekend is Memorial Weekend. And for most people, Memorial Weekend kids in school is, and all is that. the kickoff to summer. Great word. Kickoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I felt like the Lord was saying now. Like, it's, it's going to happen right now. The summer harvest is going to happen right now. And I feel like that's what he's doing. That's what he's preparing us for. Like, everything that we've gone through before in our, in our last two weeks was like, it was all like a huge part of it, of preparation. Because yeah. like, now I can put in this next stage, you know? Yeah. It's almost like I got the uh, I got the sauce already cooked. Now it's on the back simmering. Now I'm mixing up the pasta and making it so we can put all this stuff together yeah. and have a meal. Yes. Called dreams fulfilled, and yeah. we can feast on it. Yes. And we can, because <laughs> mm-hmm. I declare in the name of Jesus that that banner that Lana Vosser prophesied 
dreams really do come true is going to be flying over my family yeah. this year. Yeah. She said it was going to happen this year for many this year. And I'm, I am, I am assaulting heaven. I am assaulting God. And I'm just going, God, I'm coming after you because yeah. I want that to be true for my family. Yeah. I, I declare there's going to be a reward in the name of Jesus over our family in every area and relation as the Amplified Bible puts it because that's God's heart for yeah. you to be blessed in every area and relation. There is no such thing as a good God if he wants you to prosper in every area except be poor. Uh, 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 uh. That's not God. Yeah. That's not even Hebrew culture. Yeah. And they get their cues from God. Yeah. God taught them how to live. And yeah. so it's like, we just we just declare for anyone else yes. out there Ooh, that it. wants to receive that, you know, let them who have ears mm -hmm. hear what the Spirit is saying. And then you, when you hear, you will receive. And when, you, you know, mm -hmm. so like just, I just declare in the name of Jesus over your life, go after God. You know, go after him, mm -hmm. believe and receive. Well, I'm attached to these friends. I, if I do this, I might actually lose some friendships. Well, lose some friendships for crying out loud. Yeah. You know, are your friendships that are holding you back going to be more important than receiving what God, your father, creator of all things, who is eternally good and eternally loving, wanting to give to you? No, I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to go. Mm -hmm. True friends are going to support you. Even if they don't understand, they're going to be like, well, I don't know if, how I feel about this. But, hey, if you feel like God's telling you to do it, go ahead and do it. We, we support you. Those are true friends. Mm -hmm. You know, go go after God, man. Yeah. I just declare in the name of Jesus that God is going to come through for you this year. And you're going to see the glory of God manifest in your life to them that believe you will receive. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> So God is cooking something up, man. He really he is. is. Yeah, like I totally agree with that. And I just also agree with that, you know, it is every area of your life God wants you to prosper in. Mm -hmm. He wants you to have good, healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. And he wants you to have healthy money, financial resources. Mm -hmm. He wants you to have healthy emotions. He wants you to just have a healthy body mind mm -hmm. soul and spirit i mean everything he wants all of it to be prospering to mm -hmm. have abundance yeah. and um and so that's just what i you know i just pray for you guys right now lord that you would just touch people's hearts that they would see how much you desire for them to have everything that you have for mm -hmm. them and that it's not just one area that is good but that every area of their life would be good that it would be fulfilled that there would be an abundance and an overflow of their life and um, that's what brings glory to god yes you being poor doesn't bring glory to god it yeah it doesn't and you you being isolated yeah is doesn't bring glory to god you know, God's been able to do something in us, and he's really pulled me back from writing, from everything. You guys are familiar with our Breakthrough Story playlist and now this Manifestation Story, all of that. You're familiar with a lot of how God just pulled us back, but now it's him who's putting us back in, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like for a year, yes, it's glory to God, but then it's like, okay, now it's time to go back in. But if we decide, no, we don't want to go back in, and we stay in this situation that God now doesn't want us to be in, and he's moving us out, then there is no glory to God in that, Yeah, you know? Yeah, but it's just God wants, you know, just read Deuteronomy 28 and it's like that is what he wants for yeah. his people, you know. One through 14. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, the rest of it, he don't want well, that. Yeah, those are for those that aren't listening, that aren't obeying. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so God is doing something awesome yeah, and something yeah. new and... You know, and I wanted to just say with the harvest. Oh, yes, yes. Um, it's like, I really feel like, even now, I think we're already seeing some of the harvest as far as all that God has put into us, mm -hmm. all the work that he has done. The building. Over yeah. this last year. And it really has been an entire year of intense, <sighs> like intense, maybe a little over a year. But, um, yeah, 
of just God working in us and, and changing things and moving things. And oh my gosh, can I just tell you, I think part of that harvest was even last night. A lot of times we like to just talk about like, what would we do if we had such and such amount of money? Mm -hmm. And usually they're, the conversations don't always go that well. <laughs> it's an imaginary conversation, I man. Know, I know. Can we just imagine? Can we just dream? Can we just figure I'm it such, out? You know, the whole concrete thinking thing and, 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 and finances is an <clears throat> area that I've had a heart wound in and there's just so much with that. And But yesterday we had a conversation and it ended awesome. Like it just, it was great. It was so much fun. <laughs> I did not know what to do with myself. I was like, wow, did that really just happen? <laughs> Like that's that's amazing. Yeah. Like and it was it was cool because I could say, Well, Michelle, we're just dreaming the big dream here. Don't get caught lost in the details and you're like, Yeah, you know what, you're right. I should do <laughs> What? What just happened? <laughs> you cooked. <laughs> she she cooked. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> what was that from? Uh, no, why no. did I get married? No, yeah. <laughs> from Tyler Perry. She cooked. <laughs> Like what? Okay, she cooked. Big deal, man. She cooked, bro. Something's not right. She's trying to kill me. <laughs> She's setting me up, fatal attraction style. You know. <laughs> so I don't know. I think that we really are already seeing some of the harvest of what God mm -hmm. has been sowing in us, and it comes out because our the way that we are responding to similar situations or even exact same situations is totally different and and so that is only by god you know that mm -hmm. because it's like and it was just so cool i mean i think that conversation is just just like you it was know another little like here you go like, here you, you it's go. a new Let me thing just show you the, things are blossoming yeah there is fruit there is like see look at this yeah. this is coming out of your character and when your character is molded that's just what you're going to produce. Yeah. It's just going to come out of you like that. Yeah. You know, that's why God is so focused on our hearts and our character. Yeah. But can I say, you know, the whole numbers bash that God did for two weeks at the Comfort Inn, it was insane. Yeah. It was crazy. Real. And it was just like, it was hot. And then he finished what he was doing and he put it back on simmer. Let me tell you, he just put it back on simmer. He didn't turn it off completely, you know, because yeah. Joe has been getting the 144 thing. But, you know, the room number that we're staying in right now is 105. I was coming back to uh, from the store with my daughter. We went on a little walk, a little father-daughter time. And I was like, and I, 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 not, I, bleh, I didn't even consider 105 a number or anything. I wasn't even thinking like that. See, that's the thing. When it comes to numbers, we're not thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It just comes out. And just as I'm coming up to the door... I just think of 105 and I think, whoa, crazy. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. You know, because the number zero just represents power behind whatever number it's attached to, mm -hmm. right? And I felt like the Lord showed me that there is, because, and then the number 15 represents new direction, direction. you know? <laughs> and I felt like the Lord's right, it just, it just kind of came to me. You know, it's like there is, I have, I am putting power on your new direction that you're going in. And I was, I was about blown away. This is the first time I'm telling you this. Yeah. But <laughs> I was blown away. I was like, wow, even now you're putting us in a prophetic position, even by this room number, to say like, see, this is, I'm doing a new thing. Mm -hmm. I'm t sending you a new direction. But all of that, th this is after the fact. I mean, I just saw this today, but God's already been stirring so much new stuff in us since the 22nd. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like a number is leading the charge or we're doing some sort of witchcrafty thing. It's just that's how God does, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like even this room number has significance, you yeah. know? And it's because it's true. Man, I tell you what, what that, that first night here was the power of God was yeah. here. I mean, it was on the 22nd. It was amazing. Yeah. And it just ever since then, it's just been like, now God's cooking up the dream yeah, and cooking and up the new direction and yeah. new things are happening and blossoming. And I just know for myself, like, I have responded in mm -hmm. a new way multiple times yeah. throughout this whole week. And it's just like, wow. Yeah. Like, things really have And you're not changed. really trying. It's I'm just not. coming it's just out coming of out. you. Yeah. See, that's producing fruit. Yeah. That is blossoming. That is all that stuff that he's talking about. So it was just cool that I got that 105 thing today that the Lord totally brought up. I wasn't even thinking about it. Yeah. The Lord brought it up 
because he's cool like that. <laughs> he's a friend. He'll let, he'll be like, hey man, you know what? Can I tell you something? And I'm like, whoa. I didn't even awesome. see that. That's amazing. You're amazing. Can we hang out together forever? We can? Oh, Thank yes. That's awesome. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I can't wait for that day. So I'm actually excited <laughs> about tomorrow. I'm sure we'll probably, you know, we'll give you guys an update yeah. on like how this goes, you know, going to this church because it's, it's just funny because this is a church I thought we were going to end up going to way last year. We came to visit Brentwood the first time, but we mm -hmm. just couldn't come to this particular yeah. one. But it was just like... It wasn't even an option back then, but it's funny how yeah. it's like now it's it's like it's it's like literally right down the road. I mean, yeah. we could we could have gone like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we just I didn't just think didn't about, think it. about it, at it. It wasn't all. something that God was doing. No, but now God's like, hey, I want you to. It, he puts stuff in front of us, mm -hmm. and we're like, yeah, I think we should do that. You know, and, and, and you know, he starts the process, the heart process, yeah, the preparation and the strengthening and the directing. You know, yeah. so. That's yeah. it. I think that's enough. I think so. <laughs> if you've made it this far, congratulations. Lot, I know a lot of people didn't make it this far on our last video. I, <laughs> you can just tell by but, the comments. Um, it's like, that's all right. Yeah, for Get those, what you can out of it. Yes. And God bless you. <laughs> Lord knows I ain't watching a 40-minute video. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I've been watching 40-minute videos all the time. Yeah. So <laughs> We just watched a 35-minute video last night. Yeah. So, Devin, just be quiet. Yeah. Just re I rebuke myself. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah and once again we just appreciate all of you who continue you to give support and yes. um amazing yeah i can't even believe some of you guys you guys are just it is just the hand of god yeah that's, that's all i'm gonna say there yeah just so unbelievable we definitely we love all of you guys yes. and we'll um our breakthrough is your breakthrough and your breakthrough is our breakthrough yeah so, <laughs> we hope that you guys are blessed and encouraged by this video and yeah. um, just all that God is saying and doing. And so From the UK to the USA. Yeah. And, in, and everywhere and, and in between. Everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so until next time, guys, we will see you later. Yep. Love you guys. Bye. Be blessed.